Previously on Land House, I built and test a very simple U-siphon or automatic siphon. Now most people build these for grow beds, um, hydroponic systems, but my thoughts were, what if I had a ram pump filling a small duck pond and every time that duck pond got to the top, it would flush and clean it out since ducks are rather messy. So that was my thoughts on building this U-siphon. Today, I have got three different sizes, three quarter inch, which is what we used previously, half inch, which is a little bit smaller, of course, and then a three eighths, which I had to make out of metal because they didn't have PVC in that size. Uh, I want to see at what point these would flush and if it makes a difference in pulling that siphon. So let's get to it. Just a quick look at my setup. I've got a board holding up a bucket and that bucket has two pipes coming out the underside inserted by Unisil. Now those will allow me to set up my U-siphons here. So like I said, three quarter inch, half inch, and then three eighths. And those will essentially be able to fit onto these pipes in here, which we'll get to in just a moment. Also, I'm using water from the ram pump uh, in some storage tanks up above, so uh, water's not being wasted. It's just uh, been pumped up here from ram pump. To begin this test, I have closed off the half inch pipe and opened up the three quarter inch pipe. And I'm gonna insert this onto that three quarter inch. And that's gonna be our first test here. So get the hose, hopefully my water is clean. <laughs> Not too clean. So when this reaches the top here, it should automatically flush. As you can see, that's uh, filling up quite fast, more than a gallon a minute. All right, the siphon has just started down here. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see that the siphon has started and it's pulling water out from there and draining it automatically. Okay. It just gulped and stopped. Very nice. So that was the test with the three quarter inch. That was the most basic setup for a U-siphon, but to better see what's happening, I'm gonna do something that I've not done before, and that's connect the U-siphon to the outside of the bucket here. So my thoughts are, if it works on the inside, it probably will work on the outside, right? So when it gets up to here, it will pull over and siphon out from there. So let's uh, just see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna introduce the water again. Let's see what happens here. So hopefully you can see the water level is right there and rising. So it's getting close. We should start seeing it right about now. There we go. Okay, let's see if it'll pull. I'm not sure it ever started. Let's see if that works. I added a couple more pieces of pipe here, a 90 and a 45, to see if that would help pull the suction out there. So let's give that a try. Huh. I'm not sure that's the actual siphon there. Okay, um, I don't think that we're gonna be that way anytime soon. Sorry for no talking, I uh, had to answer the phone. So that actually worked. Um, turning it up like that, pulled the siphon all the way down to the standpipe. So, good test. I'm gonna cap off the three quarter inch here and get some tests done with the half inch. Okay, half inch, similar setup here. I'm just gonna try filling this up, see what we get. I expect this one to start a little bit easier than the previous one, especially with this quantity of water coming in. 
It is nice to know that these will mount on the outside and still work because if you're using this for a duck pond, you don't want these pipes inside to be kicked around by the ducks. Okay, approaching the top now. Uh oh, I'm overflowing my bucket here. Not quite enough to get that one going. Let's see what I can do about that. I'm gonna do the same thing where I turned it up like this and see if that will allow it to pull over. Nope, not quite. I pulled this part of the U-siphon down because I think it matters how much pressure is above here to start the siphon. So let's see if that makes much of a difference. All right, getting some water out down here now. Okay, I saw bubbles popping out, which is a good thing. All right, there we go. The siphon just pulled. You can see a huge difference there between uh, it just pulling water out and siphoning. So the water level is now down to here, which is way below this section, which means it is definitely siphoning as it should. Now this test should be quite interesting because I'm using the 3 8 inch siphon here. Now I don't have anything to extend the pipe because it's 3 8 so let's see how well it does here. There we go, nice. So, as you can see, it's uh, pulling from the three quarter inch pipe, reducing to half inch, and then going to three eighths inch, and it pulled it quicker than the others. See how well it drains there. Water level has now dropped below that top elbow, so it is pulling the siphon further down, which is great. Now in my previous video, it was suggested that to improve the suction power, I should increase the length of the exit pipe. And so that is what I have done here. I've got a half inch pipe that spans close to five feet to the ground, and that should give us a lot more suction power. So let's see what happens here. Okay, the water is about right here, so it won't be long and we'll start seeing some results. Okay, I see it down here. I think it just pulled it. Yep. Much faster than before. So as you can see, it has pulled the siphon down there. And I believe it was much quicker. Not only was it quicker to pull the siphon, it also drained twice as fast as before. I mean, it really powered through that bucket in a hurry. Well, I found those tests exciting. I learned three things from this. Having an extended pipe coming out of the siphon is a huge improvement. Really pulls that suction really strong. Next thing, if you're gonna have a small exit pipe, the amount of water on top of the siphon here, I guess pushing down, makes a big difference as well. When it's just right there on the edge, it like for instance, I had this siphon up at this point earlier, and there wasn't enough weight here to push that down. But when it was right here uh, with this extra pipe, it just yanked it right over. So um, if I was to drain this bucket, I'd have to have this lower to have more water on top. I guess maybe the hydrostatic pressure helps push that water through the pipe. And then the last thing that I learned was that uh, the size of the pipe used also makes a difference in how fast the siphon is pulled. So for instance, when it was using the 3 eighths, that definitely pulled a lot faster than the 3 quarter. Um, but at the same time, it has a much smaller diameter and won't pull the debris in the duck pond that uh, the bigger pipe will. Which me brings me to uh, the next video. 
Next time, I have a video with the same concept, but it will hopefully effectively pull with a low flow situation because this garden hose right here, I'm thinking it's pumping somewhere around, uh, I don't know, two gallons a minute or more. So if you're like me and you're gonna run this system from a ram pump, you're looking at probably more like a half gallon a minute. And that's what we're gonna deal with. I've got the ram pump going. So we'll use that in the next video to test out the low flow options that I have. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got some great input on this system, please let me know. I'd like to uh, try out some new fun ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.